Good morning, Whitfield. I am Logan, your morning anchor. Today is Monday, January 24, 2022. Here are the important announcements for today. Today's lunch choices will be Entree 1, Assorted Individual Pizzas, Entree 2, Bulldog Power Pack, Fresh Baked Soft Pretzel, Cheddar Cheese Stick, Hard Boiled Egg, Apple Slices, Carrot Pack, and Ranch Dip. Entree 3 would be PB&J and Crustables, Assorted Orange, Vegetable of the Day, Assorted Fresh Fruit, and a Choice of Milk. Here are a few students who did some good things last month. And Mrs. Parkins' class, Henry loves to help his friends and, and make sure everyone is okay. Jackson works hard on his schoolwork and always gives 100% to what he does. Erica always tries her best and never gives up. Mallory include, includes all of her friends in games and makes them feel good. In Mrs. Huff's class, Lila helps, Miss, helps Mrs. Keller off the floor. Joshua earned a prize for his reading and chose to pick something for his sister instead. And Kaylee stayed focused on what she needed to do when a student was trying to distract her. Keep up the great work, everyone. The next two weeks, Whitfield will be participating in an hour of code event. Each class will be going to the discovery room for activities and have time in their classrooms to code. You will earn a ticket for showing your project in coding. Here's Mr. Durr with a video to kick off the event. Hey everyone, Mr. Durr here again with another Hour of Code update. Here are some of the activities that you will be able to participate in your classroom and have access to. This slide deck will have been pushed out to every student's Google Classroom, uh, Discovery Google Classroom, and teachers, you also ha will have this link in case you want to share it out and participate in these activities as well. Our main activity to participate is the school-wide goose chase activity. Staff, you can install this app on your devices. Students, you can install this app on your devices if your teachers want you to. Grades three through five will have already installed it and used it from a discovery classroom. This video down below actually goes over how to use the app and participate in it. Uh, You'll log in with your code, sign in as a guest, and choose your classroom to participate. By participating, the top classes with participation points will get a set of prizes. Our next slide goes over different missions that have different links for your goose chases. So in our grades K through two, mission links for the goose chase there are different links so in case you don't want to open the app the goose chase app you can access these links right here same thing for grades three through five you have your links for your goose chase on the on this slide our next slide contains an if you click on the epic link an epic reading list loads of different books. Don't just program, you can read about programming. Maybe for your reading work over the next two weeks, you take time to read an epic book or listen to a book about computer programming or a book that deals about technology or a famous computer programmer. There's even more that's been added to this reading list since last year. Linked in the slides, we can skip that video. Videos are there for you if you need them. Then we have our kindergarten and first grade slides. These have links to the Flipgrid, the Hour of Code activities. You can click on that and get to that. Please make sure you select pre-reader. I've also hot linked to fun ones already from the Hour of Code selections, Code Monkey Jr and Codable, along with a digital breakout for you to be able to participate in. Kindergarten through first grade, you've also got this wonderful uh, set of cho this choice board that Mrs. Schultz has shared out with us. If you click on the choice board, it takes you to that, which then it can link you to 
any one of these fun activities. Grades second through fifth grade, we have a little bit more here because it deals with four grade levels. You've got a bunch of different digital breakouts that you can do with your class. These icons will take you to some fun code.org, our new ones. Uh, we've got AI under the ocean, identifying, uh, using your computational thinking, these fish, uh, virus outbreak, hello world, and of course the new poem art. We've got even more that you can do from our code.org. And this is just a reminder that in third, fourth, and fifth grade. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United Check States that of America. that out, because I will release the, the Google logo and coding nation, adventures, adventures God, with Gumball from Cartoon Network. With liberty, of course, everybody can go to the Flipgrid and fill that out. Second through fifth grade, here is your choice menu that Mrs. Schultz has shared with us. Uh, look at that, Harry Potter, Power of Code. I definitely know some friends. And then our last set of slides is the overview and videos of how to do these activities. So if you're stuck, you're not sure what to do, all of those resources are at the end of the slides for you. I hope you have fun this year, everybody, with your Hour of Code event. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please feel free to stop by or send me an email. Have a great day, and I can't wait. Remember what field, be responsible, be respectful, be safe, and be kind. The choice is yours. And most importantly, be the best you can be in our beautiful neighborhood. Please stand and prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. Here is Reed with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty, just and for all.